there is gas stoichiometry. We can also use stoichiometry when we're doing um, gas law problems. So usually the stoichiometry is used before um, to find moles of a substance and then it's put the the values are put into the ideal gas law. So the ideal gas equation can be used to do stoichiometric calculations for things involving gases. And you could also use it after, um, depending on what the question is asking for. So let's look at a couple examples for this one. This one says, calculate the volume, and I'm going to start out the same by making my list. So volume of oxygen produced at a pressure of 1 atm and 25 degrees Celsius by the complete decomposition of 10.5 grams of potassium chlorate. Okay, now notice here the difference. It says calculate the volume of oxygen, but they give us grams of potassium chlorate. So we can't convert that to moles and use that in the equation because that's not what we're trying to find here. So we need moles, we need a mole value, but it needs to be moles of O2. So if you notice here, we're going to have to set up our reaction and do a little bit of stoichiometry. So potassium chlorate is KClO3 decomposes, if you remember, to KCl and O2. And to balance that, we need a 2, a 2, and a 3. And we're starting out with 10.5 grams of KClO3. So what we need to do is go from grams of KClO3 to moles of O2 then we can put that down here and go to our PVNRT, our ideal gas equation. So the first thing I have to do is convert this to moles. So one mole of KClO3 is 122.55 grams. And then my mole ratio between KClO3 and O2 is 3 moles O2 to 2 moles KClO3. So when I solve all that, I end up with point one, two, nine moles of O2. So I can put that over here. So 0.129 moles of O2. So now I have a pressure, a temperature, moles are still 0 0.0821 liter atmosphere per mole K. And now I can take all this and go into PVNRT. Okay, I'm going to switch color here so we can keep track of what's going on. So PV equals NRT. Pressure is 1, volume is what I'm solving for, N is 0.129, R 0.0821, T, I have to go back and change to Kelvin, so I add my 273 there, so I end up with 298, okay, so that goes in here, 298, so my final volume measurement for oxygen, which is what I'm looking for, just like it asked up here, is 3.16 liters of O2. All right, if you would like to do one more, here's one more example. So this one says, calculate the volume of hydrogen produced at 1.5 atm, so pressure equals 1.5 atm, 19 degrees Celsius by the reaction of 25 grams of zinc with excess hydrochloric acid. So volume, again, I missed this the first time through. Volume is what I'm looking for. So what I need here is moles, and I already have my R, 0.0821 liter ATM per mole K. And again, that R value is a constant, so that will always be the value for R. So again, just like before, I have to set up a, an equation for this. So I have Zn plus 2HCl. I'm going to go ahead and balance as we do it here. Gives me ZnCl2 plus H2. And again, the reason I have to do this is because it gives me zinc, but it asks for volume of hydrogen. So I can't just convert zinc grams to moles because that's not what the rest of this information is for. The rest of this information is for hydrogen, so I have to convert it to moles first. So just like before, 26.5 grams of zinc, convert that to moles first. So one mole of zinc, 65.39 grams. Mole ratio between zinc and H2 is 1 to 1. So I end up with 0 0.405 moles of H2. So that goes down here, 0.405 moles. Now that I have that, 
I can go back to my PV equals NRT. Pressure, 1.5. Volume is what I'm looking for again. N, 0.405. R, just like always, 0 0.0821. And then my final temperature, forgot again, add 273 up there. So that is 9, or I'm sorry, 292. So then I solve for my volume, which gives me 6.47 liters of H2. So again, the stoichiometry a lot of times is the first step, um, but it might be possible for them to have you solve for an N value and then take that into a stoichiometry problem to end up with grams of something else. So when you get to these especially, you really have to pay attention to what they're giving you and what they're asking you to find. And if there's a difference there, then that's going to help you realize that you need a, an equation and you have to do some stoichiometry as well.